Hi guys, it's me here, and welcome back to Clock Tower 3. Me and the Nomkim Chrism. It's that one. Hi. We're playing more Clock Tower 3, that game. You just said that twice? No, I did not. This is chapter 2. Let's begin, shall we, Bubba? Mm-hmm. Big shout out to Alice for being our amazing producer that makes these playthroughs possible. You're such a Nomkin. If you enjoy these full-length things, consider pledging to our Patreon. We've got some Nom girls this month. Oh. I can't be quiet now. <gasps> Papa, there's someone at the door. Papa, he... Is that a door or a window? Someone at the window door. <laughs> this cutscene is awful. From there what he is. What are you doing here? Pull me up. Oh, hurry. Is that wrong, Weasley? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> What is going on? Hi. Phew, I thought I was a goner for sure. <laughs> Long time no see, Alyssa. I haven't seen you since we were in primary school together. How the fuck what do you recognise each other then? Three years? What? Hang on, you would be in primary school if she's 15 now. Residence through a window. I have to give you something. Ah, here it is. It's the key to my grandfather's room. Mother always had this key with her. What are you doing with it? You saw her? When? And where? Calm down, calm down. It was yesterday morning and your mother drove by in her car. Oops. And she said you might come back from boarding school and asked me to hand that key to you if you wasn't back in time. She must have known I'd disobey her and come back here. She must have gone up to meet me. We just missed each other. Hey, Alyssa, you've really changed since I last saw you. I'm going to go and check my grandfather's room. Hey! Well... It looks like you've grown up too, Dennis. Excuse me? Oh, come on! That was then and this is now! Wait a minute, would you? That was one of the most awkward cutscenes I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Dick's rookie. <coughs> oh, that was the most horrible acting. It, it, it clearly didn't match I, the original I, I Japanese mean, at all. I mean, the animation and... <laughs> They were moving like spider people. Did you notice that? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Anyway, let's uh, let's go exploring, shall we? Around the little mansion. I'm sure it's safe in here, so we're fine. Oh, it's Dick's room. All right. It's it's literally a library. Shiny here, Bubba. Well, that wasn't what I was going for, but still. An order form from the camera shop. Somebody bought lots of film. Okay. There's a scribbled note. The keys to the mystery of time lie behind you. What could that mean? There are some old books to one side. Book of Entities. Entities have existed in the human realm since Roman days. These beings have been known to possess innocent humans, imbuing them with utter ruthlessness and cruelty, and often driving the possessed to vicious acts of murder. In such cases, executing the murderer does not break the circle of evil. The possessed is resurrected to continue its bloodthirsty mission. Those who are thus controlled by entities are known as subordinates. When a subordinate kills a human, they take nourishment from the victim's soul, and their power grows. Subordinates may acquire an infinite amount of power in this manner. It follows, then, that subordinates are sustained by human misery and suffering. Only certain humans are equipped to fight entities, and their subordinates, the Ruders, what? Ruders, who are always young women in their teens, have been battling against these shadowy enemies for hundreds of years. I wonder if we're a Ruder. <laughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge, say no more. The war is likely to continue for many centuries to come. So, why, why are they always young women in their teens? Uh, because it's Japan. <laughs> entities? Ruders? Teenage girls who stand against the forces of darkness. What, did you find anything in there, Alyssa? <laughs> What's that? I said entities, not titties. Entity? What's an entity? And the ruders? So it wasn't a dream. I'm going to look for my mother. You want to look for your mother? But she was in a car, remember? She could be anywhere by now. She's nearby. I can tell. She's, she's dead. What do you mean? 
It doesn't matter. Just go home. Let me help you. Just the two of us. It'll be like the old days. That was a long time ago. Well, I might as well help you. There's, there's nothing to do at home. <laughs> I'm alone in the house until my sister comes back. It just anyway. doesn't match his body language at all, does you mean it? Linda, mm -hmm. isn't she travelling? Yeah. She's working as a nurse at a refugee camp in Africa. In her last letter, she said she won't be back for at least another six months, so I'm free to babysit, walk dogs, look for missing mothers. Okay. You can check upstairs while I look He's downstairs. He's so going to get killed. Yes, boss. <laughs> hey, one more thing. Isn't it your birthday tomorrow? Huh? My birthday? See, even after all this time, I still remember. What concerns me more she doesn't seem to know that it was her birthday. Oh, nothing. <laughs> now check upstairs, will you? You can count on me, partner. Oh my god. <laughs> He's being acted like by a 50-year-old man as well. <laughs> yep. I got some winding keys. Alright, I think that's the only thing that was shining in this room. Let's go. So, upstairs there was a door that was sealed. And now we have four holy waters. We're going to go and investigate. Because we're numpkins, right? Yes. I, I think her voice acting isn't so bad. Although the animation's weird as fuck. Um, but his voice acting does not fit. Like, whatsoever. Yeah, well, you know, that the, vo the, vo the battle with voice actors is half, like, the animation. Because even if a voice actor is decent, if the animation doesn't match up, like, at all, it's, it's, it makes it seem a lot worse than it is. Oh, fuck me. Oh, well, that was immediate. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, that means there's a body in here, which does not bode too well for us. The dead body in here, of all places. One of the lodges, what a stink. Okay. <laughs> Are you it sure? stinks. We're going to use the lavender water on it. I mean, I'd be upset if I was a, a, a rotting body in a... Oh, thanks. I mean, the, the lavender water isn't going to make you not decompose. Look at the flies as well. Are they wearing a shower cap or is that their hair? I think that's supposed to be their hair, but it's hard to tell. It looks a bit like a shower cap, doesn't it? Anyway, we did it. <laughs> we beat the ghosty. That was very lucky, actually. <laughs> I didn't expect it to come out the fucking door like that, me. All right. This, what's this room? Oh, this is the room where we were before, right? Oh, well, something's happening. I wonder what time it is. <laughs> <coughs> All right, winding keys might just work on this clock. Use the winding keys. I wonder what. I wonder what this is. Um, okay, so which way do I turn it though? You were supposed to look at the picture. It was 3 p.m. it was, so it's 3.05 right now. But... Oh, why is it moving in weird chunks? Okay, that's that's not working. Well, how much... So it moves it in 25 minutes, that one does. And this one moves it... Oh, this might do it! 40 minutes left. Yes! This is a very odd way to wind the clock. Yeah, I, I don't think most clocks work like this. <laughs> Bubby, it's a secret passageway. Oh God, I've always wanted one of these. Have you always wanted one of those? Yeah, I think you have, right? You've always talked about how cool secret passageways are. Yeah. Let's go. If we, if, like, I ever had the money to do so, I'd love to build, like, a, a, a nice big house with lots of secret passages. And, That'd be pretty nice. I, I, I'd back you up stuff. on that, Bubba. When we become millionaires from these YouTube videos, I'll do it. <laughs> Drawing the portal square is instructed is only the beginning. Remember, the portal square must be thoroughly purified with holy water until it has been sufficiently charged with energy for full effect. Only when the square is infused with light may the practitioner expect any groundbreaking results. Sure. Oh, this. We just have to <laughs> splash it with holy water. There we go. I'm not sure I should have gone through this yet. <laughs> I didn't expect it to teleport me somewhere. 
You know where we're going, back in time, right? Yeah, of course we fucking are. Great. Isn't that the whole thing of this game? Yeah, I know, but I didn't want to fight a killer right now. I wanted to get more holy water. I've only got one dose. Well, maybe you shouldn't have done that. Oh, well, it's okay, because there's one right here. Blah, 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 blah. She drinks it. What happens you if you, should, you, think you should, should get cholera? You should probably save, too. Oh, it's a shiny there. I don't like this music. No, I don't know if we're being chased yet. I, I assume we're going to get a cutscene introducing whoever the killer is here. So, I think we're good for now. Until something terrible happens. Then then we're not good. <laughs> After that point, we're fucked. Oh, is that... Oh, hi. Okay. 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 That looked bum. Still there. I want the teddy bear. See, I've got a teddy bear. No, Isn't that Nomkin? It's not moving, so I guess yeah, we'll I go think the it's other way. That path. It seems to be stuck in place. Yeah, you're right, it's blocking. I think you said walking. I was like, yes, but. Honey? Yeah. What are you trying to do? I, I guess we have to go that way. <laughs> I don't I don't want to go around. I don't want to go that way. We'll go into this little area. That's then. where we were a minute ago. I think that's the only way, baby. Oh, well. Let's get killed. Oh, well. It won't stop me, right? I'll just say, oh, can I have the teddy bear, please? Thank you. Okay, now it's now it's trying to stop me. It seems to be locked from the other... Is that an arm hanging out of a garbage can? Yep. I can hardly bear the look. There's a heart-shaped pendant in its hand, but half some, we need the other half of it. Right. <laughs> There's another one! This one's a lot more mobile. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> Lots of gem. Yeah, this game's full of gem. Smeary gem. That's pretty numb though, right? Mm, not when it's smeared on the floor. Okay. He doesn't look like a serial killer to me. Which is just as well. I like how she's still panicking so fucking much. Who are you? Nobody. What are you doing here? A nomkin. Answer me! <laughs> What's that? What's that? What's what going is going on? on? Yeah, what is... What is oh god, his eyes. Mama. What did you think? Well, I mean, I've always blind, but I didn't know his eyes were hemorrhaging down his face. Say something. That isn't quite normal for blind people. Mama. <laughs> she still was just like, oh yeah, maybe he doesn't hear me gasping and whimpering. <coughs> By the way, I just realized something. What? Maybe that other spirit, the second one, wanted the teddy bear. Oh, well, we're not doing it now. <laughs> maybe we'll get outside again another time. <laughs> but I think we're probably just fucked on that front. Never mind. Oh god, there's more. Okay. Hello? <laughs> Alba, where on earth have you got to? All their eyes are fucked. I've been waiting for you, waiting, waiting. <laughs> this is really morbid. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Albert, is that you? <laughs> oh my fucking god, what is happening? Okay. 
Her dress is clipping through her body as well. Not exactly sure what just happened. <coughs> it's locked, it will not open. We've got a crooked painting here as well, which is a bit... A painting has been hung here. It's all crooked though. Maybe I should straighten it. Or don't, I guess? Oh, what the fuck? I don't think this is going to be a nomkin. Did, is she is she dead now? I don't know, but our, our fucking fear rating just went through the fucking roof. <laughs> so I'm running. <laughs> please, please don't follow me into this room, Ubu. It's gonna follow me into this room. The vase holds a what the fuck is a moonflower? And if you saw one, would you instantly know it was a moonflower? I mean, probably not. Unless I already knew what one was. Which has been turned to what? How do you know it's been turned? I don't know. <laughs> let's let's go in north. Oh my god, that was right. <laughs> okay, okay. But listen. <laughs> well, this place looks. Lovely. I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. There's no killer, at least, at the moment. Probably shouldn't have said that, because it probably means impending death. <coughs> Kitchen Lovely. key. Okay, that's good. Oh, God. It's here. It's here. It's here. It's here. <laughs> I want this shiny, though, as well. <laughs> to be fair, they're not very intimidating, are they? Right, that well, that's the thing for outside. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that means we're going to go outside again, which means we can probably do the bear as well. That's good. All right. Sure. <laughs> I don't think any of this is good. Don't know where I'm going. Just panic. Shouldn't Leave me alone! You, shouldn't you go back up? No, I'm going through here. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost made a decision for me. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going! There's a door, this one! Yes! Well, uh... Oh. Great. News reporter memo. Found very important clue to Rand's murder. We'll go back to her house to investigate and gather info. Got a feeling about this. It will be in the biggest scoop in Fleet Street. So we're in London. A newspaper clipping is sandwiched between the pages of the notepad. Serial killer Haig meets grisly end. Oh god, this is our killer. West Sussex. John Haig, the serial killer on the run since last, early last year, has been found dead at a metal plating works. Haig is held responsible for cold-blooded murder of several pensioners, whom he robbed before placing their bodies in containers of sulfuric acid, thus disposing of the evidence. This is actually- John Haig is a real serial killer, by the way. Mm -hmm. And he did do that. Mm -hmm. So... That's interesting. The acid used in the crimes was stolen, leading the police to place factories in the area with stocks of sulfuric acid under surveillance. The suspect appeared at a plating factory in Horsham, and this is actually literally the, a real story, <coughs> and struggle ensued. Haig lost- this, this bit isn't, I don't think, the falling into a vat. Haig lost his balance and fell from a platform into a vat of acid, ironically meeting the same end of his victims. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was arrested. <coughs> but it's better for the story if he died in an ironic way. <laughs> Oh god, there's a, there's a ghosty sound, I don't or, like it. Um, so do we need to pacify this guy, spirit? Poetic justice way. I think that's the term. Yeah, I suppose so. Let's get out of here. Oh, we're right here! Okay, so we can do these now. It was a half-heart pendant here, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah! So the red ones don't move. Uh, you think red was worse, wouldn't you? But I guess not. <coughs> Can you take it now? Yeah, invisibility. Band. We should probably start using these items, but I'm going to save them. People have said in the comments, by the way, babe, that it gets really hard later on. So save arrows and things like that for the harder fights, basically. The, especially the last fight. Yeah, this one wants the teddy bear. What one? There's nothing in there. Oh. 
There's a body in the trunk. Okay, so we just pacified both those spirits, which is, I guess, pretty numb. I guess so. <clears throat> I don't really know what else we're going to be doing here. We've got to do something with that corpse, but I don't know what it needs, so I'm going to go back and check it if we can. All right. I didn't see a ghost in there, at least, so that's, that's probably for the best. Yeah, you did. Film is, oh yeah, the one that was chasing us. Film has been ripped out of the camera. If I had some film, maybe I could purge the spirits. Okay, so we need what? some film. Oh, wasn't our granddad talking about film back in the house? Did we go back to the house? Yeah, but how do you, I don't, were you supposed to pick it up before you came here? I don't think the game would fuck us that badly. Well, if it was an optional ghost, it would. I don't think it is though, because that's like, that had the memo and stuff with the killer, right? <clears throat> Well, we'll find out in a minute. I'm gonna go and get some more holy water anyway. Oh, well, we got we better come back here anyway. Um, is she a ghost? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can see through. Good sign. Am I supposed to? Mom? Oh yeah, your mom's dead. Great. <coughs> Shocking revelation. Even though that guy told you he killed her. Oh, there's a shiny right there. Oh, that's what your mum dropped. I thought I'd missed something. Dick's desk. Yeah, we have to go back. And we got. We can now use the holy water to do this. Before we do that, though, I'm going to save the game. Because we did quite a lot there without a save. Alright. Um, well, no serial killer there unless he's going to come back with us. Probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I don't want him to come back with us. He can stay here and acid more people in the eyes. I don't think the eyes were related. I don't know. What the fuck was with the eyes? Anyway. I don't know what you're talking about. The, the character's eyes? Were they acided or what? I don't know. Like, why didn't they have any? I'm confused. Well, I mean, it's a spooky dooky game and the graphics aren't very good. Maybe that's the only way they could convey that they were blind. I don't know. By the way, the sound in here is... A lot bummer than it was. Right? I mean, she had an orchestra before, and now she's got a little synth mixed in. Great. I don't like and it. Whatever those instruments are. I'm gonna grab some more holy water while I'm here. <clears throat> okay. I hope every time we kill a killer, we get more holy water, because that'd be dope. Yeah. Anyway, Dick's room's this way, and we got his desk key, so we can open his desk now. I haven't seen anyone. I can only assume that Ron's dead as well. Which is for the best, probably. No, that's the, it's the other, I guess it's the other side. We need your film, dick. Yes. Yeah! That's a creepy mask. Book of Entities 2. In order to defeat a subordinate, the murderous soul which acts as an energy source must be healed. To instigate the healing process, a sentimental item belonging to that person must be obtained. Even when the item has been found, the ruder power is boosted temporarily. The Rudal Portal Square appears, and with it found the sacred weapon necessary to vanquish the subordinates. I guess the invitation last time was that? Why is that sentimental to him, though? Mm. Oh, it's weird. Regardless. There's still something in here. Oh god, we gotta pick this up. Strange mask. <coughs> oh, well, I wonder where this goes. Maybe this wall covered in masks. Oh. I keep forgetting that you don't have to do that with that with other I with certain items you don't have to do it, and some you do. Which is kind of annoying. have in here. We have camera. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. People were like, oh, well, there's that. Repellent arrow. <coughs> All right. What do we have here, Bubba? Film. Film. Okay, well, we got that. I don't know why you didn't think it was film. Well, I don't know. Is that grandfather's writing? There's a note here as well from grandfather. Oh, this is like a cutscene? I know. Who battle the entities are scattered all over Europe. We, the Hamiltons, are also of ruder stock. 
Of this lineage I am proud. The ruder blood is passed down to females. My wife, Francesca, was a ruder. In my naive youth, I did not believe any of it. I denied the presence of entities and ruders alike, preferring to believe that it was all just an old wives' tale. But then I found the book of entities, and Nancy began to sharpen her ruder powers. I finally opened my eyes to the truth and began my research into the subject. The ruder powers first appear in a young woman's early teens and peak at age 15. God. The powers then gradually diminish, usually disappearing entirely by the age of 20. For generations, the women of the Hamilton clan have spent their teens fighting against subordinates for the ruder cause, before marrying in their 20s in order to produce the next generation of ruders. Okay. Nancy is already 18. Her ruder powers are just far too old. And it is almost time for her to pass the job on to the next female. We Hamiltons think of our ruder blood as something of which to be proud as well as a responsibility that must be taken very seriously. I am sad to give my beloved Nancy to another man, but it must be done. I will watch her marry with a broken heart. Another ruder has been born to the Hamilton household, my first grandchild. I chose for her the name Alyssa. She is bright and lively, perhaps even a little strong-willed, and yet appears somehow wise beyond her years. I pray she will grow strong and healthy and will fulfill her obligation as a noble ruder. A ruder family? So, I am a ruder. It's in my blood. Leave it to me, Grandpa. I have the same ruder strain in my blood as my mother. I can save Dorothy and Albert. Then and only then will I be able to leave this nightmare and see my mum again. Why is she talking to a painting? Sure that's the way, isn't it? I guess I'd go a little nuts. Mum is dead! She's probably fine. <laughs> She's probably just a ghost that looked exactly like your mother. <laughs> I think that's fair, right? And why aren't you asking the question why your mother never told you about this, even though in the letter it seems to suggest that they knew about it growing up? She clearly knew about <coughs> it. Stop running into the wall. Alright, we're going back. We've got the film. Let's go. And why are you not also going like, wow, well, uh... My mom married at 18, probably was it an arranged marriage. This is kind of weird. No, I'm not gonna think anything like that, okay. <laughs> she is a big ass room though. Yeah, it's a fucking big secret room, isn't it? It's massive. <laughs> Mind you, this whole house is big, I guess, so. They're obviously loaded. You know what they say, there's nothing ruder than a ruder. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, I've been thinking the whole- I already had it filled, fuck. You haven't used anything. <laughs> well listen, I'm panicking, alright? I don't know why, nothing's actually happened really yet. So far this has been considerably less stressful than last time, but I'm sure it's gonna up the ante. Apparently we're in the second stage of Ghost Town. There's no way we're not getting a killer this time. No fucking way. <laughs> what colour were the hiding spots and what colour were the other things as well? I can't remember. I can't remember. Great. We're gonna totally die. Yep. <laughs> I forgot he was just right there. <laughs> Do you like film? <laughs> Little ghosties? Oh, hey. so he was the one following us. What a nomkin. Oh, we got two pictures. 
This must be a photograph from the crime scene. Okay. <laughs> this isn't just a photograph from the crime scene. This is it's a the killer disposing the crime. <laughs> <laughs> you really can't see the suspect in it. I wonder if the person who took the photograph ended up as a victim as well. Oh shit! <laughs> what the fuck? There's another photo. Is it gonna be? It's a, a photograph of an open door with a hidden switch. Oh, okay. Well, we know where that is. Let's go. I love the way they took the time to take the picture of that! I'd be running! Especially back then when taking a picture- well yeah. actually it was the 70s so it's, it wasn't that long but still! There we go. Someone's trying to break out a door in here. Can you hear that? Yep. Okay. We've got a save point here. What's down here? Hello? Okay. I don't like. I do not like. Okay. Is that, a, is that a hiding point, do you think, or not? I don't know. We're so gonna deal with whatever it is in a minute. Mr. Haig. John Haig, that was his name. Who I think in real life was called the Acid Bath Murderer. I don't think he's probably called that in this. It's not a very clever name. No. I mean, it's just literally what he did. <laughs> What about this door here? Oh, hi. Well, this looks pretty numb. Hello. <laughs> so I'm gonna call bullshit. You know why? The stupid thing is set in England and all the buildings are way too big. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cutscene. to tell you that dinner's ready and i told you that you don't need to be worried about me your old mother may have dicky eyes but she's not on her last legs yet you just concentrate on your work anyway what is it you're making this time some new toy that'll have the local kids a gog i bet actually i've been busy making this no they're gonna die <laughs> Winter's coming, and I don't want you catching cold, wandering around outside. I've been making this in my spare time. How is it? Warm enough? It's lovely. So warm and soft. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's <laughs> enough play, happy family. You make me sick. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Jesus Christ! This is a lot! Yeah, <laughs> this is brutal! I think the heist would do more than that though, by the way. I assume this guy's got range as well. Which sucks, because the other guy didn't. Oh, we fucking need that. That's the fucking item. That's the item we need to fucking exercise in. How did he set up an entire acid This is fucking horrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I feel... Um, I, I'm uncomfortable because this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Oh, we're so far. Join them. I mean, I the acid I, ideally I mean, not. I mean, the, the, the hammer guy didn't make much sense easy either, but this was a lot. <laughs> uh, what's this? Oh, it's an invasion thing. That's pretty handy. <laughs> what was he doing? I thought he was going to dab them for a minute. <laughs> because he's pre dabbing. Yeah, get fucked. I think I think this one disturbed me most because it like it had like a calm intro and the other one was just like random killer yeah. smacking of someone with the hammer. All right, now he's dealt with. We're gonna go back in here and loot this place. Probably a terrible idea, but he's vanished. Yeah, I knew he'd vanish. They always do. <laughs> we have an invisibility band. Okay, and this is the room where he put them in the baths, right? Yeah, it is. 
What a lovely room. Oh, shiny. There is a key. I got the toolbox key. Okay. He's totally gonna burst out at us any second. Let's go and save, yeah? We don't need any more holy water right now, which is which is numb. I like the build up better this time. Cause that was genuinely really fucking disturbing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna go I think we have to go back this way. I have vague memories of this level. From watching someone else play. I don't like that sound, by the way. We can't go through that door. Well. That did not go very well for us, did it? That was kind of bullshit. Should we have the door out of here or not? Oh, there is the fireplace, right? You yeah, get fucked. <laughs> Oh, there's something I missed there. Hi. How did he get around to that door so fast? <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> oh my god. That was bull. I'm, I'm so dead. I am so fucking dead. <sighs> Alright, anyway. Albert's Diary. Percy from the bakery gave me the name of a good optometrist in London. It's been seven years now since mum lost her sight. And though she tries to appear cheerful, it's difficult to watch her grow old. Perhaps the doctor can do something to help her. It'll be expensive. I wonder if my savings will be enough. Yesterday, a relative of ours, named John Haig, came asking if he could stay with us. He was very cordial, but I can't help thinking there's something calculated about him. I said as much to mother, who scolded me for judging a book by its cover. I suppose she's right. Blood is thicker than water, as they say. I've been hearing strange noises late at night for the last three days or so. I hear that a team of burglars have been striking homes in the area. I must remember to lock all the doors and windows at night. Okay. So he's a relative of theirs and he wheedles his way in? What a fucking arsehole. Right. He might just say he is. I don't know. Or maybe he actually is. I don't know. I think I'm in trouble here, by the way. Yes, you are. <laughs> Don't mind me, just gonna use this toolbox key here. Hexagonal wrench. No idea where that goes, great. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, you know, I'm just being chased by someone who- Oh, just we got an evasion point here, so that's good. Fuck you. This guy's not done a lot so far, actually. Do the evasion points just automatically trigger him showing up, or...? Oh shit, he's still... Okay. Um... No! Fuck. Bye! Baby, don't just stand there. I don't know where we're going. Oh, I don't yeah. even know where we got that. It must be back this way, right? I'm gonna go and get Holy War and save anyway, regardless. Okay. Mm -hmm. We haven't been up. We didn't go across the bridge up there, so we'll go up there. And we got like a. It's like a wrench, right? We got. Yep. Where is he? <clears throat> oh, fuck oh, me! That is bullshit. Come on, game. Are you, just you butt stop me! me? Well, that went well. Oh, hey, we're dead. Oh, we're again, dead. Again with this bullshit of, hey, let me just stand still and lose my two free hits. Is that Dorothy Shaw? I don't know. <laughs> but now's not the time to think about it. Oh, this fans. Oh, we're so dead. We are so fucking dead. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, yeah, we're dead. All right, I'm gonna redo this bit. <laughs> that that was very. Bullshit. I'll let him kill us. <laughs> Look at what the little dance he does. 
So we obviously have to use the wrench to stop the fans there, by the way. And then go through them, I'm yeah, guessing. Yeah, that, that's fine. What, what the hell was that? It was pretty bullshit. I thought he was behind us, if I'm honest with you. Alright, so when you hear it, maybe go downstairs, make him go in that other room, and then go up again. I might spray him with water or, to or, give Bias a bit of time. Or do that. I don't know. That was bullshit. What is. the hell is with the butt slam? <laughs> He's like Mario. Like a fat Mario. We've died constantly here, guys, by the way. Well, a few times. Please say you can't follow me through here. He's gonna be in here, isn't he? Probably. He's here. He's fucking here! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? It's like he's dabbing. No, he does not look like anything. No, that but he he's could. Dabbing. He could dab. He's got. He's got dabbing potential, is what I'm saying. Okay, that's such horseshit. It really is. Because he just doubles up on you and you're fucked. You know what I mean? Mm. I don't know where we're going. I don't even know where we are right now. We haven't lost any of the items yet, but I think we're still fucked. <laughs> well, this is uh, really bad. How's he gone? He's gone! No one would just stop running. Like, after you've gone through the fight or flight phase and you've chose flight, you wouldn't stop. That's the whole point of it. <laughs> we got daughter's letter. Okay. That's great and everything. Is he in here? <laughs> yeah, of course he is. Great. Eleven. Oh, wow. Just what I needed. Better calm down. Better have a good little sniff. We're going to be fine, right, baby? Now we're going to go back. Oh, it's an evasion point. You get fucked. I found you. What is it? <laughs> oh my god. I don't like. Is this more plank balancing? Because can I just say, I really don't like that mechanic. Oh, there is. Okay. I'm guessing falling in here is that... Oh, there's two. Do you reckon one's going to break and one won't? Probably. <sighs> well, maybe I should do any mini mini mo. Just pick one and go for it. I'll do the longer one. I'll do the longer ones each time, all right? Because the short ones are probably probably traps. There's only one to choose from here, so we're going over here. Did you fucking kidding? Okay, <laughs> we got the shawl. Okay, so now we can we can exercise him, right? Surely. Um, how do we get back? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no, what's this? Something bomb. Is it him? Yeah. How the fuck can't we hear his fat footsteps? I... I can. She's just stupid. I found you! <laughs> and our thing's up to max already. I'm gonna go over here so we lose him again. I'm not sure. Yeah, he instantly despawns when you go here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's handy. Ah. Ah. Whee! 
Oh, so it doesn't kill you. No, it just washes you up. Oh! Guys! <laughs> Pepper, there's a body! Oh my god. That must be the ghost. Look, we were just fucking around with the planks. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see any of that, but we were just fucking around. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I guess the other thing we need is this. The daughter's letter. Hello, dear. D you happy now? Yeah, it's a numpkin, look. You look so weird. <laughs> oh, we got an arrow, too. Oh, that's oh. actually really cool. Oh, holy shit. We're gonna save those for the harder fights. <laughs> Alright. Time to exercise, Bubba. <laughs> oh my god, we're, that was quite badass by us. <laughs> Destiny to accept. My destiny. You must die, Alicia. Uh, see, see what you did with the throwing the pole in the face. Maybe you should have kept doing it. I mean, I know you have your magical girl arrow thing, but instead of panicking all the time, maybe if you hit things in the face more, it would work out better for you. It's just, just a little suggestion. You're as ready for magical girl time again? I feel like you shouldn't really waste that first arrow. I, I feel like it's unnecessary, Alyssa. <laughs> Corroda, how many victims has he got? Oh, it's not victims, it's years. 31 victims, years sentence is his health bar, right? Yeah. 605 years. No idea what that really means in the grand scheme of things in terms of health. How has that worked out? <laughs> Isn't that just the amount of hit points? It is, but I, 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 what I mean it. Oh. That is. By the way, I've forgotten the controls for this. Alright, you're not supposed to use the special arrows. Uh, I kind of fucked up there. Ow. Oh, wow. Okay, so he's got some range on him. And by range, I mean the entire room. I guess this isn't going to be as easy as the last one was. Oh god, run. Better die. I'll try and whittle away at him. <laughs> I say as I completely fuck up. <laughs> Thing is, he move you can only shoot in a straight line. Oh god, that was really close to my bum. Oh my god! <laughs> Bum. Damage. Oh, his nozzle's jammed. I could have, I should have charged that more then. Yeah, so his nozzle jams after he does a certain number of attacks. It looks like. I can shoot through the thing in the middle too. Oh my god. That was very lucky. Whirling away. Seven hours later. Okay, so we wait for the nozzle to jam, maybe. Damage. Yeah. There she is. I've got him. Come on. There she is. Prepare to die. Don't oh, fucking sidestep, you, you fucker. Bastard. No. He's breaking free, but... There she is! Damn it! I hit him! Oh, God! There she is! It's like a Bubba on a leash. Yeah. There's <laughs> <laughs> like no concept that, hey, this won't work. He can't reach me from there. There she is! That one will. It's when he says there she is that it's a problem, you know what I mean? Mm. See, it's like a on a leash. I can't unsee it now. Oh, I'm dead. I hit him, but I didn't kill him. Get up! Okay, charge, charge. I'm so glad that counts. Yes, super attack, baby! Oh, finally. <laughs> I don't know if this will kill him. I think it will. Probably. Maybe. Possibly. 
If we did this first time, I'm actually pretty chuffed because this is really <laughs> these are really hard. They're really fiddly, you know what I mean? Be nice if it's it, maybe, hopefully, we'll see. Yeah, yeah there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for falling in front of me instead of, like, miles away. Clover of Courage. Alright, and we have five Holy Water now, by the way. That's pretty nice. Alright. I think I know where we need to go now to say goodbye to the spirits. That room that she sealed, she threw us out of right back at the start. He was remarkably... He was much easier to deal with than, than the Sledgehammer. His attacks were worse, but you don't really see enough of him for it to be a huge problem. You know mm. what I mean? <laughs> I don't mean to. I don't know how hard I'm patting. <laughs> All right, in we go. No. Thank you for not currently throwing things at me. That's pretty numb. I can see. I can see. Albert. Albert. Mother. <laughs> I waited so long for you. Remember this? Is the winter shawl you knitted for me? <gasps> Mother, I can see. I can see too. Oh, wow, those anime tears! Very much. Dorothy. Albert. Goodbye. I don't know how we got her name. Goodbye. Because we just suddenly knew it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. This, this, this was, looks bad. This was different from last time. <laughs> oh hi! It's the fat guy. Quite a feat destroying two subordinates. The ruder strain appears especially strong within you, Alyssa. Wait, that voice. Is that our grandpa? Well, we're not gonna find out till next episode. Because <laughs> that is the end of chapter two. <laughs> much for watching everyone if you enjoyed please leave a like on the video it really is super non when you do leave a comment and i'll try and reply and we'll be back uh on monday for more clock tower so i hope you guys enjoyed so far and uh i, th I think that's it right Bubba? yep if you enjoyed this content consider pledging to our patreon some cool goals going on there at the moment and it's super non place so go have a look so link below no. so no anyway see you guys later thanks for watching Bye! Bye!